Right, behind me here, it's quite steep this by the way, is the old cricket pavilion which was used by the uh, Denby Mental. So uh, what sort of memories does this uh, bring back for you Peter? Memories, memories. Uh, it's always memories isn't it? Well I remember being 16 years of age, 17 years of age, sport was very important in the life of the hospital. Um, on the right we have the rugby pitch, on the left is the cricket pitch, we have the pavilion which serviced both sports uh, in the middle. Unfortunately the pavilion's no more, it was burnt down. Great shame. Um, but many a happy sunny day watching the cricket and indeed many a happy winter's uh, afternoon watching rugby. And I can tell you that the North Wales rugby, North Wales Hospital rugby team was one of the best of its time in North Wales then. Uh, and of course it developed into uh, Club Rugby Dimpich and that's now got league status and um, that's down to the hospital rugby. Yeah, excellent. We'll have another wander around. We'll continue around here I think. Yeah. Okay then. As you can see behind us there is a very large mound of rocks. So do you know them? where they're from? Pizza? Um, I do actually. They're from uh, the form of Ringolai world, which we talked about earlier. Um, but all the rubble was moved here because it has to stay on site um, to be reincorporated into any new build. And more importantly, Paul, just behind this rubble, uh, which I hope we've got to see now, yeah. is the main body of the hospital. Yeah. Uh, we will have a wander around. Okay then. There we go. I'm stood on the Nantlin Road now. Behind me is the road up to Talavan. That's where I worked on nights for. Th I did 13 years on nights up in Talavan, and also up there is Gwynfrin and uh, some offices and some out, out units such as the East, East EG and blood taking units was up there. The nurses' home. That's where I lived for seven years. Uh, came there when I was 16, left when I was 23, got married. Best thing I ever did. Now, interesting building here. Um, that's where the gardener was based. That's his shed. Quite an interesting little building. And behind it, of course, is all the green fields which you can see, which will soon be turned into housing. And the way I would go in and out of work would be the back entrance, basically, uh, past the nurse's home. Now, right behind you now is a Trevelyan, which was a doctor's residence, Dr. Gwynne's residence. He was the chief medical officer. No, not this near one. That was also that was um, office workers' uh, residence. But right behind is Trevelyan. That eventually became the uh, hospital social club and many a few pounds were spent in there on alcohol and such like cigarettes when it was elite, when it was legal to do so. And it's all gonna change. Okay, we've just stopped here now, just on the road at the side of the hospital, just with a bit of an interesting feature here, Peter. So what have we got here? Okay, well all over Denby, all over the town of Denby, there were railings uh, and in the Second World War, um, for the war effort, they chopped all the railings down, nice. all over town, Vale Street, everywhere, and this is the remains of one along the hospital wall. Right, that's a good piece, isn't it? It is a good strong piece. Normally it's stumps. Yeah. 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 Interesting feature, that too. Well, it was interesting. It was nice to get round, and uh, you know, thanks to the uh, generosity of the owner. Very nice. 
guys. Very honoured then to go inside and uh, see all the things we've seen. So uh, let's hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, until the next time. It's goodbye from me. And it's also goodbye from Peter. Goodbye. <laughs>